There's actually a, a very um, important case that came out in Florida that establishes that all of the provisions for undue influence. It's called the Carpenter case. And the Carpenter case basically lays out some very specific provisions such as if a person takes someone to an attorney or chooses the attorney or has any um, really influence on the attorney who's drafting the will. Um, and basically, that if, if you meet some of those criteria, it may be enough to shift the burden. Um, if you meet all of them, it may not be enough to shift the burden. So there is some discretion with the court to determine whether or not a person is under the influence of another. But the Carpenter case gives us the very strict guidelines that have now been included in the probate code, um, those specific provisions. But for the most part, they include things like picking the attorney, um, driving the um, the, the uh, will maker or the decedent to the attorney's office, being involved in how the distributions are made, being a beneficiary of the new drafted will, um, and then you know the presence of that person in the will signing or execution and that kind of violation of confidentiality that would normally exist between an attorney and an individual, um, that's going to create a real problem from an undue influence perspective.